What the DCU is setting out to do with its media has already been done by CW. Welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more video. One of the important aspects of James Gunn's new and improved DCU is that it is looking to encompass the entirety of the DC universe across multiple mediums. What Gunn aims to do is unite the various media that DC is putting out under one banner, such that any character that appears anywhere will be the same as the one that audiences see somewhere else, with the same actor assaying the role and the same history. Creature Commandos will be the first look that fans get at James Gunn's DCU, due to release in December 2024, a full seven months ahead of the franchise's live-action debut with Gunn's own Superman. It would seem that Gunn will be bringing over the actors from the voice acting department to live action, should these characters need to make an appearance. However, this has already been done by DC, specifically in the Arrowverse. In the Arrowverse, a slew of shows aired on CW using DC properties like Green Arrow, The Flash, and Black Lightning. As the show moved more towards the science fiction slash fantasy side of the DC universe, characters like The Flash and Supergirl began fleshing out the universe, which then resulted in yearly crossovers across all shows that were currently running. Among the slew of theories that appeared in the show was Vixen, a character that would go on receive a show of her own. However, what was unique about Vixen's spin-off was that unlike The Flash, who got a live-action series of his own, Vixen appeared in an animated series, one that connected directly with The Flash and Green Arrow, who also made extended appearances in the show, with Stephen Amell and Grant Gustin voicing their respective characters. At the on -Sea Film Festival, celebrating the animated offerings of the year from a slew of studios, James Gunn reaffirmed the idea that he is out to unite video games, live action, and animated properties under one banner. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Please like, share and subscribe for more. What the DCU is setting out to do with its me